Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, you're gonna stare at a black screen, yay! Just kidding. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the kits that I have available for Mystical Diamond Art. Now, at the time that I am recording this, we are sold out, but this video is also going up incredibly late. Um, I do have one of every canvas for my own personal um, stocking reasons. I save these canvases um, for numerous reasons to do comparisons on when I receive the next batch, um, to work them up, to have in stock, like to show what the finished kit looks like because I am working on that right now. The listing photo is of the schematic of what it looks like in the computer with the individual colored square for the drill like the drill filled but hopefully in the not too far future I will also have a finished photo of what those images are going to look like once they're finished with the full drill layout on them and also um, I try my best to not send you guys damaged boxes so occasionally uh, not everything always arrives perfect and so since I knew I was going to be saving one of every canvas anyway um, I have saved if, if the box was damaged then I pulled that for myself so you guys will see um, like the damaged box but it's not like what you're going to be getting so we're first going to start with a very popular one. So the first one that we are going to be starting with is, um, well, first I wanna say that Ocean Moon, I actually do not have it in stock because Ocean Moon, um, I only had a limited number of canvases available and when I first got these canvases in, I sent out a couple of PR packages and Ocean Moon happened to be one of the ones that I miscounted by one and didn't get to save myself one because I had sent out a PR package with it. So I only have, I don't have that one available to show you. But I will insert a screenshot up here in the corner of what that looks like. And um, when I do the next release video, probably the first week of September, you guys will get to see that canvas here I don't want to say in person, but you guys know what I mean. So the second most popular canvas in our inventory is Paradise Cove. And don't get used to these boxes, you guys, because I'm hoping by year's end that these boxes are no longer. So Paradise Cove, every painting is going to come with my logo on it, the Mystical Diamond Art um, sticker. And then every painting, you guys are super close, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys properly. Every image is also, well, every box also comes with an uh, image on the bottom of the box that has the picture of what the item is, um, the inventory code, and then the size. Um, these two things here are gonna be disappearing. I know for sure the Chinese symbols are going to be disappearing. That is something that my supplier uses on their end to keep inventory on their end, but I've requested that that be removed and also um, the in this inventory tracker because I actually don't use that um, to keep track of inventory and so both of these might be gone. I'm not 100% sure if this top one um, but I know for sure the symbols here are going to be removed. And then you have the size of the canvas. And this is the box that I already showed you. So every canvas is going to come with this box, a box on the outside. Yours is not going to be bent up. I try my best to make sure that every box that you guys receive is not in this condition um, because it's just, you know, sometimes I understand that it might get damaged on its way to you but when I send it like 95% of the time your box is straight so when you pull the canvas out this is what it looks like <clears throat> and then 
Every canvas also has these kit contents stickers on the side of the canvas um, that tells you what is inside here. And I had a lot of people questioning what pen mud was. I know a lot of people call it wax. Um, when I started working with my supplier, this is what they listed on the inventory sheet and this is what they call it. And so that's just how I transferred it over. It's not any different than wax. It's the same thing, the exact same item. It's just, we call it something a little different here. <clears throat> I cannot get my voice to be Correct. So I want to pick up, these are new canvases, and in my end, I don't keep the inventory sheet. So I'm looking for, okay, so because these are a personal stash, I don't have an inventory sheet to show you for this one, but I'm going to put a screenshot of what the inventory sheet will look like. Actually, I'll just show you this one. So every canvas is also going to come with this inventory sheet. You can take these, um, these are stickers, you can take them off and cut them to put them on your drill storage. You can also remove the image here. I know a lot of people like the images to put in notebooks so that they can look back at what canvases they did and things like that and so that's why I did that. And me personally, I don't like working out of bags. We chose the bags as how to um, send you guys a drill because I feel like the majority of the community prefers bags. However, um, it's not going to be any harder to transfer them out and it's one less step because you don't have to cut them open with a pair of scissors. So you can still take your inventory sheet and put these on your drill storage and still empty out your drills and not have any issues. So here is the canvas. This is what it looks like. And this is the Paradise Cove. You're going to open it. You're going to have a basic kit, which we are not at this time customizing. One day in the future we might. Um, all of the canvases we have right now are all 28 colors. And this is what they look like. And this is the Paradise Cove. I'm going to try to show you guys i'm going to pick you up and show you guys what it looks like from afar i absolutely love this image this is one of the ones that i will be kitting up in my next kit up video so that you guys can see me work on one of these canvases so we're gonna get you up in person on here it does have our logo on it which in our new order our logo is going to be bigger there's a little bit of dust in there. Our logo is going to be bigger so that you guys can see it better. And then the drill field. So the training, these do have training wheels and a lot of people, well, so some people like the training wheels and some people don't. Um, they don't necessarily bother me when um, they match. The canvas, unfortunately, that is something that my supplier is not comfortable removing the training wheels on here, especially when you're working with such a light color like this. If we didn't have the training wheel on here because the background is essentially white, you can't really see um, the squares in the back. And I think this is supposed to be a very, very light blue color. You wouldn't be able to see where your drill wind and then you probably have some extra gaps in here for most colors that's not going to be an issue like this but when you put these into the program you cannot tell it which symbols to have a training room which one's not and so we've just decided to just leave them on there at this time and our canvases all have the poured glue technique they are all poured glue super sticky so most of the time it's going to go right up against the edge of the painting and you're not going to need to apply washi tape uh, sometimes it is going to run a little bit over depending on the size of the tray that we are using to put the glue on um, and you may use washi tape if you use there's nothing wrong with it um, but my whole thing was trying to move away from that just because it is an extra step and washi tape is hella expensive it is not cheap you guys 
So I have something on my desk right there. There we go. I'm just trying to lay this out so you guys can see it a little bit better. That's Paradise Cove. And then I'm not going to get into what the drills look like right now because I will be kitting this one up in another video. So I will show you guys the drills on another canvas. So we're going to put this one back. And I'm going to show you guys the next one. I do have um, eight canvases to show you guys. And so um, I'm going to show you guys the drills on the next one up close. And then I'm not going to show you guys the drills anymore. I mainly want to show you the designs on the canvas. And then for the rest of the boxes, they're not going to have any of the logos on them just because they are in my own personal stash for the business. And I didn't feel like it was necessary to waste all of the stickers on all of the boxes that were never going to leave the warehouse. So let's get into those. Okay, the next one that we have for you is, I believe, okay, this is Cup of Joe. And this is our coffee cup standard kit. This one also has 28 colors. I will pull you guys away right now so you can get a little bit better view and I will show you the drills as well. This is what this one is going to look like. And this one, man, I took the size off of this one. I will get that for you guys right now. I'm gonna, I'll put it on the screen right now. Um, I was trying to move the sticker because it was crooked on this box. And I messed it up, so I had to take it off completely. But don't worry, this is not a canvas that anybody will be receiving, or at least this box, because I took it apart. So now I'm gonna show you guys the drills up close and personal. Okay, so this all the drills are in baggies, and they come weighted according to um, how many drills that they have determined are on the canvas because that does come up on the computer readout. I do not provide you guys that information with how many drills are each, but each bag is weighed accordingly. So don't freak out if your drills are not in numerical order like one, two, three, four, five. It really depends on who's packaging the orders at the time. Sometimes they are in numerical order, but I would say probably like 75, 80% of the time they're in order by weight. So back here we have some bigger bags like um like you can see here it's one, four, two. And two is in, in three separate bags. It really just depends on who is kidding, not kidding, but who's putting the, the order together. So let's put these in order real quick. So 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. Again, this is the only canvas I'm going to do this for. And then um, we're going to move right along to looking at the rest. 20, <clears throat> 21. 22, 17, 16, 15, 16, trying to find the rest of these teens, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, are they all going to fit on the screen? I don't know. 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4, I know you guys can't really see those, 3, 2, what did I do with 1? I know I saw it. Oh, no, it's here. What the heck? There is a bag of drills down there, but it does not belong to this canvas. Seven, six, five, four. okay. So, 3, 2, 1. Okay, after that took ages, here is what all the drills look like. You have 1 through 28. Right now, all of the canvases that are showing on the website as of today all have 28 colors. It just happened that way. Um, but I do have some canvases coming in that will have 
more than 28 colors so look out for those so here's what the drills look like you can see that most of them are pretty decent a couple of them have a little bit of dimples and that's normal um it's because of the way that they are poured into the um the molds and sometimes it's just impossible to get perfect drills every single time but that is not going to affect how they lay down on the canvas when it just has such a small dimple like these let's look at another it's hard to show the darker colors on camera here we go you can see these ones also nice off-white color okay does this have any 310 yes let's look at the 310s 310 is one that i have noticed in many kits has a ton of trash these look pretty good i don't see trash 310 is also one of those that um you're gonna notice any imperfections with all the time i feel like you can always tell the quality of a kit dependent on the quality of the 310s so i'm gonna pour some in my hand here forgive my nail polish it needs to be changed i don't know if i'm gonna have time to do it today so there are the three tens you can see they are plenty sparkly nice flat backs on all these ones that are turned over and from what i have poured out in my hand there's no trash here so there you have it i'm going to attempt to put these back oh man do i have a boat i need a boat Okay, again, I'm not gonna do this for every canvas. Um, this video is more just to show you the layout of the canvas and all of the drills are made in the same factory. So, you know, you guys are gonna get the same quality. Here's a cute baby pink color. And then I'm just gonna quickly put these in the bag and I will put them back in order at another time. Okay. I'm going to put this canvas aside so I can remember that that one needs to be put away properly and we're going to move on. The Cup of Joe kit, this is what the inventory sheet looks like for that as well. So same setup, again the stickers all come off. So the next one that I have is a pretty large kit. Um, this one is called Dragon's Eye. And this kit is a 50 by 50. Right now it is one of our larger ones. And it goes this way. Again, don't stress out right now. I'm going to pull you away from the holder so that you guys can see the canvas all right we're gonna come back show you guys the top and down I absolutely love the way that this kit looks like um the okay here is the schematic here I don't recall my supplier doesn't have names for these and I just thought that this looked like a dragon's eye would possibly look like um, with all of the flowers and things that you have going on it looks somewhat scaly up in here on this side and so I thought that that would be a perfect name for it um, it also has some butterflies down in here You've got some sunflowers on this side, and you've got just a gorgeous array of colors in this canvas that just really make it pop. Again, all of your drills are in baggies. A lot of people would say that these were kitted up for them. So that's what they look like, some gorgeous colors. The next kit that we have is a 40 by 45 kit. This is another really, really cute one. And this one is our mischievous kitten kit. 
This is the inventory sheet for that one again with the stickers. All of them come off. You get your same standard kit. Not going to show you guys that. I'm trying to see which way. Okay, this is a long one. So the orientation of this one's a little bit different. I'm going to have to bring it to the side a little bit because I'm using. Okay. So I'm going to take you guys down so you can see this properly. So this is what that looks like. You've got the cute kitten right here. The ears will go up here, which will become more defined once you lay drills down. And then the kitten is playing with a basket here of some yarn balls. And you've got like um, a piece of a crocheted item here. I just thought this was super cute because of the kitten itself in the basket let me show you guys what it looks like up close so you can tell there's a lot of bright colors in there you can see that there's a sock in there some spools of thread that the cat has gotten himself into i thought this kit was super cute um i just i honestly don't see this one being um as popular um uh, because not everybody likes cats or not these kind of cats so there is that one. I also do have another gorgeous kitten one coming in um, that I think you guys are going to absolutely love, at least people who like cats. Okay, so the next kit that we have is another beautiful kit. is one of my favorites. So I'm going to take it out and then I'll show you the inventory sheet for it. Oops, the girls came out first. Okay. So here is this one. It is the fall time kit. Same sticker setup. Same drills. Well, it's not the same drills, but it's the same. Um, they are in baggies. Okay. And then figure out which way this one goes and start unrolling it. Here is what the fall time looks like. So you, in this one, you have a ton of um, yellows and browns and reds. The beautiful bench, it just looks gorgeous against the falling leaves on the ground. And there is a shadow of a person right here. And then you've got the trees fading up into the never ending sky. This is also one of my favorite pieces love this one another one of our big kits this is a 50 by 50. this is the sunflower bouquet this is also another popular one that might be out of stock by the time this video goes up and it, I don't know if it will be relisted on time with the second release but here is what that one looks like lots of gorgeous yellow so you can clearly see the definition of the sunflowers here and then you've got some smaller sunflowers on the bottom you have the table here where they are sitting you can also see the um vase and then it's also got i don't know if i can focus a cute to me it looks like a pumpkin but it might not be a pumpkin right here on the side it's just a cute decorative piece and whoops okay there's that again lots of gorgeous drills you do have a little bit of pink in there Okay, here is also another one of our larger kits. This is the Eternal Tree. So you've got the same inventory sheet. And then on the last canvas, I'm gonna go over more of the canvas part of it. So just so you guys know, I know you guys are probably thinking like, wait a minute, you're leaving all kinds of stuff out. I know. Okay. 
here is what this looks like. Love all of the greens and everything on here. And then the base is a bunch of different colors. You've got some blues and some purples. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I do want to point out for this canvas, I did point out to my supplier that I felt that there was a little bit too much red here in the tree. However, the customers that have ordered this canvas so far have said that they liked it. Um, I will, however, be getting some replacement drills for this red color, which I believe, I think is 666. Oh no, it's 817. I just felt like it was a little bit too bright and I will be receiving a brown color. So if that is something that you guys want to trade out, um, soon I will be offering those replacement drills to you for free. Okay, so the last canvas of the day is going to be, um, okay, so this canvas, I'm going to take a little bit more time to go over the, um, the layout of the canvas, and um, I will show you the kit, and I will talk a little bit more in detail about it. I just really wanted to show you guys the layouts of the other canvases. So... This is the Eternal Skull canvas. Like this, this is one of my favorite pieces. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing this one first or if I'm gonna be doing Paradise Cove because I absolutely love both of them. They are two of my favorite ones out of this whole um, first launch that we had. And so I'm not 100% sure which one I'm going to be doing. So we're going to open this up and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to move it to the side. Okay. And then I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the canvas. So this is what the canvas looks like. Super clear drawer filled again. Absolutely stunning in my personal opinion, even though my opinion might be biased. That is what it looks like. I feel like we did a really great job getting all of this background um like smoky let me show you guys smoky swirls here that you can see in the background in the back instead of it just being like a solid base of 310 um i really like how this looked i love the eyes everything and then you have like a butterfly bow on top of the skull that just looks amazing. I'm obsessed with it. So something that I want to point out is that we do have two um, color lists on the canvas, which is this one here on the top left corner, the first one. And then we have one here at the bottom right corner. And you, it's the color list with the DMC code the symbol and then it tells you how many are in each which of course this one through whatever doesn't mean anything in particular other than to tell you how many colors there are and then you also have the schematic here which is a picture of the canvas and then you have the size and then the model number so that's what that looks like oh look at the the nose is a heart okay so as far as canvas is concerned, that's what that looks like. And the kit, again, this is the standard kit. I know it is nothing special, nothing great to look at, but at this time, I feel like probably 75-80% of people who order diamond paintings, especially from smaller companies like myself, are using um, custom pens. Most of you guys are using like acrylic pens and even those of you that are, are using these pens, you already have a whole bunch of squishies um, on there. So at this time, I will not be changing the kit with the canvas. So you're going to be getting a standard plate of wax. They won't all look, they won't all be this size of square. They might be smaller, they might be bigger, um, but it will be enough to finish the canvas. You will get a handful of bags and I know that a lot of people... You either love these bags or you hate these bags. No, there is not enough to um, complete 
like if you needed to replace all of the bags there's not enough in here and I feel like since there is already bags in here you don't really need more and these are more for since the, the drills do come in bags already if you rip a bag if your ziplocs not working on it um, or you poke a hole in it somehow you have a replacement bag that is all that is for you do get the standard pen. I cannot guarantee that they will always be blue, but you will have a standard single placer pen. And right now, they are all coming with a three placer, which is just your basic plastic three placer, and a boat without a spout is what you will be getting in every canvas. So that is what that looks like. And they also, it will come in a bigger bag like this. I have so many boats. It is not even funny. So that's what that looks like. This is the drills for the skull. A lot of purples, blues. You even got like a teal turquoise color here. Some pinks. And of course, you've got your grays. You do still have some 310 with this. I feel like it's really hard to get away from 310 in a lot of canvases, but you know, what can I say? So yeah, there it is, you guys. I know that this video was super fast, um, and I just, I didn't want to spend a lot of time talking about every single painting. I more wanted to show you guys what each canvas looked like and then only go over one with all of the details on one. You will be seeing another video from me with the second launch. I'm going to try my best to release that video before the launch as kind of a teaser so you guys will see what we have coming because I haven't showed anybody what's coming except for um, the canvases that we are restocking, which um, right now we're out of stock on Paradise Cove and um, Ocean Moon, and I am getting those back in stock. So other than that, I haven't showed anybody which paintings we are getting. And one of the canvases that I am getting is a licensed scenery picture from an artist that I have licensed. And... Um, I don't think that I will be printing the artist's name on the canvas, but the artist's name will be printed on the inventory sheet. And so you guys will still, you know, have some kind of reference as to who, what, when, where kind of thing. And yeah, so I hope this video wasn't too rushed for you guys. Again, I really just wanted to show you the canvases. I almost contemplated doing just a slideshow and getting some photos of each one. But honestly, it is so hard to get a photo of a canvas, especially when you have to lay it out. You have to make sure you're far enough away. Um, and then I would have, I felt like I would need to get more than one photo of each canvas just so you could kind of see all of the details of each one. Um, so yeah, photos are a lot harder. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I look forward to bringing you another launch and bringing you more information about mystical diamond art. See you guys later.